Hey YouTube, what's going on? Mark here from TST Industries back in the garage. And in this video, I will be guiding you through the installation process of the Womatech engine slider for the all new 2024 and up Yamaha MT-09. Now this is a very straightforward installation process as we do an unboxing procedure. You can see here, this is made of a three piece kit. We have the main, the main component, which is a Delrin end slider that is meant to replace the OEM end cap on your engine cover. Pre-installed on the end cap is a O-ring that will help seal the surfaces together. And then the final piece will be a plastic end cap cover that is black. We do have different colors available like red, gold, silver, blue, and white. Those are available on our website separately, but by default, you get a black end cap. As I mentioned, this is a very, very straightforward installation process. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. Now, to begin this installation, we do need to remove the OEM end cap here. And this is a size 14 hex bit or hex key, whichever you, uh, tool you have. Go ahead and attach it to our wrench here, our ratchet, and begin undoing it. Now, the OEM end cap will have a little bit of oil residue as you remove it. I should mention that you should do this installation with the bike upright, not leaning on the kickstand, or else you will have a little bit more oil residue than what I've shown here. What I like to do is place this down, go ahead and grab the Womatech kit. And what I will do is take a little bit of the oil residue that's on there, swab your finger on it, and I like to just apply it on the O-ring that Womatech has provided to provide a sense of lubrication during the installation process. Now we will go ahead and install the Womatech component. We will begin this by hand, ensuring that we are not cross-threading. You are going from a Delrin, a, a Delrin component to a aluminum component, so just be aware of the differences there. We're gonna start off hand-threading it little by little really want to make sure you're not cross threading there you are now as you snug it up by hand and bottom out we will now go ahead and grab a size 12 hex bit or hex key and snug this up a bit more and now we will go ahead and grab a torque wrench and we are going to torque this down to 10 foot pounds there you are. And just like that, the end cap is now properly installed. Now we will go ahead and grab the black end cap that is included with this kit. And you just wanna eyeball this. Make sure it's straight or to your liking in whichever orientation you want. Looks good to me there. Press it in and this installation is now complete. As you can see, We've now added some crash protection on the left-hand side of the bike in addition to the frame sliders and other crash protection components we have on this model. It does add a pop of color if you are one of those customers or riders out there who opts for a different color end cap. And at the end of the day, all of these components are, helped, are designed to help minimize the damage taken on in the event of a crash. If you like this product, you like this video, you wanna see more, please be sure to visit our website, tstindustries.com. The link to this slider kit can be found in the description below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already to stay up to date with all the new and exciting videos we've got going on. And lastly, be sure to stop by our social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all username TST Industries. For now, this has been Mark in the TST Garage, and we will catch you next time.